I intend to establish consulate generals in Guangzhou and Shanghai to facilitate the growing interaction between our peoples, said President Kenyatta, PSCU by PSEU, Nairobi, Kenya, June 19. Kenya plans to open two new consulates in China as it gears to enhance trade and bilateral relations. President Uhuru Kenyatta Tuesday announced that Kenya will open the consulates in Guangzhou and Shanghai to facilitate interaction between the people of the two countries. The president said the two consulates will help Kenya tap the huge potential existing in the tourism and commercial sector and will promote people-to-people -people exchange between the two countries. I intend to establish consulate generals in Guangzhou and Shanghai to facilitate the growing interaction between our peoples, said President Kenyatta. President Kenyatta spoke at State House, Nairobi, when he held talks with the Visiting Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference CPPCC, Chairman Wang Yang. President Kenyatta said Kenya is satisfied with the tremendous progress achieved in the bilateral cooperation between the two countries over the past decade through continued partnership. He said the partnership has had positive impact in the social and economic spheres. President Kenyatta pointed out that since December 2015, Kenya has received 13 grant projects worth US$102 million, United States dollars, four preferential loans projects worth US$292 million, United States dollars, 14 commercial projects worth US$8.545 billion, United States dollars, and a cumulative investment projects amounting US$564 million, United States dollars. During the same period, over 2,000 Kenyans benefited from academic scholarships and professional courses ranging from short to long-term sponsored by the government of the People's Republic of China, said President Kenyatta. The president also spoke on the Standard Gauge Railway, the largest single infrastructure project in Eastern Africa, in which Kenya implemented with Chinese partnership. President Kenyatta said the SGR has contributed to further consolidate Kenya's role as the logistics hub and economic powerhouse of East Africa. He said the second phase of the standard gauge railway project from Nairobi to Naivasha is ongoing and is scheduled for completion in June next year. During his visit, the Wang toured the SGR Nairobi terminus and took a short ride from Nairobi to Wathi River. He was accompanied by Cabinet Secretary James Macharia. The president also thanked China for offering to help in the organization of the high-level Sustainable Blue Economy Conference scheduled to take place at the Nyata International Convention Center in Nairobi from 26th to the 28th of November 2018. It would indeed be my pleasure if China could join other countries that have indicated interest to co-host the conference, said President Kenyatta. Canada has already offered to co-host the conference with Kenya. Wang said his visit is aimed at demonstrating positive assessment and recognition of the fruitful outcome of Kenya and China cooperation. He also said his visit to Kenya is for the purpose of following through the consensus reached by President Kenyatta and Chinese President Xi Jinping. I want to use this visit as an opportunity to further strengthen Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference CPPCC, and Kenya Senate, National Assembly and other institutions, said Wang. During his visit he also toured the Africa-China Joint Innovation Center at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology JKUAT, and the National Museum of Kenya. His visit comes hot on the heels of a recent pledge by leading Chinese enterprises operating in the country to provide support to fast-track the attainment of the Big Four development agenda. Present were the Cabinet Secretaries Monica Juma, Foreign Affairs, James Macharia, Transport and Infrastructure, Adan Muhammad, Industrialization, Rafael Tuju and Chinese Ambassador to Kenya, Sun Baohang among other senior government officials.